Hello, friends. It's me, Doom, and we're here today on Sandbagarsi, or Sandbags, which is a lot easier to, to pronounce. And we're going to be looking at how best to catch Big Mouth and Silver Carp. Now, before we get started, I have a warning. This lake is rather difficult to make your money on, so make sure you're 100% prepared before you come here. That includes a license. 8,000 for the license, donezo. Now, what prepared means, I'm gonna show you here in just a bit. I am not 100% prepared, but I can give suggestions as to how to become so. Silverhead and Big Head Carp both have unique versions here, but the thing is, even though it says bread, vegetables, technoplankton, peas, corn, I've only ever got them on vegetables and technoplankton. What technoplankton is, is just like plankton, but uh... So let's break this down into three simple steps. We're going to be talking about the location, we're going to be talking about the gear, and then finally, we're going to be talking about the retrieve. First things first, let's check out that location. So to start off, we're going to head out to Fields of Gold, which is the top one right here. It says it's right there, but it's actually like right there-ish. Like it's up further north than the map allows. So we're going to go there and we're going to turn immediately right, 90 degrees, and head on down this trail. Tree number one, M keep moving. Tree number two, keep moving. Tree number three, keep moving. So finally, you'll find yourself in between tree three and tree four. Anywhere beyond this area is kind of a hot spot for the silver and the big heads. So what we're going to do is we're going to cast out from here or further that way, however you want to do it. This is my spot, it doesn't necessarily have to be your spot, but if you want to use it, that's just fine. Now, as for time, any peak hour works, and I really don't have a specific time for uniques either. It just seems to be whenever it feels like. So that's good. We're gonna go ahead and switch out to noon, and we're gonna continue on throughout that peak hour. Now, the peak hours here can be a little bit hindering however there are many things to do here at night as well perhaps future video content these days are preferable though you can just fish all day long now let's take a look at that gear shall we now now i before i mentioned being 100 percent prepared and i can tell you one thing for sure i will never come to this lake without a rod stand a rod stand and you can fish without one, but you're going to be missing out on a lot of money if you do. So thanks to a little grinding, I've been able to more accurately match my gear. So what we're looking at here, we have an Arctic 11-2, an 11 to 30 pound rod, a 26 pound max drag reel, the Aspira Double Punch 5500. And we have, what is that? 25, yeah, 25 pound test line to fit into the 26 max drag situation there. Try to use a pear shaped float so you can get the best distance that you can. Uh, carp are easily scared off by highly visible line. Uh, so make sure to use floral line or mono line and not braid. Now, the hook size is very important, although you can catch some monstrous fish. The hook size. The, the water from what I've seen, hook size number three ought is as big as you should go. And for bait, we're going to either be using technoplankton or vegetables, just plain old vegetables. They come 50 to a pack. It's nice, it's cheap, and you can make your money back on the first fish. Now, here's the key here we're going to about 14 through 10 inches. So I'm just gonna leave her at 12 there. They usually feed near the surface. So that's what we're gonna be doing here. Now on the note of being prepared, we're gonna take a look at another setup that is not meant for silver carp. 
If you only have one float fishing setup, that's fine. But I suggest you bring a carp rod if that's the case. That way, you can more efficiently fill your keep net while go still going after the big guys. Optimally, it'd be best to bring more than one float setup. However, I was not prepared. Same rules apply, number three odd hook, and you can use pretty much any floater, any floating situation you want, any sinker situation that you want, that you so feel matches your needs. I have a myriad of, uh, of pop-up boils that I'm using. I really prefer the hemp pop-up pellets. They work wonders. I want to go ahead and toss one of those guys on there. And pretty much everything else works as well. I can't find, I mean, carp are notorious for just eating whatever the heck they want. So now that we've covered the location, and we're going to be fishing at around 12 o'clock, like I said, and just letting it coast through that, we're going to take a look at the most important part, the retrieve. So here we are. The rod holder is in place. I'm going to go ahead and switch over to the Arctic 11-2. And we are at one foot. Yes, good. I want to cast out pretty much wherever. Let's see here. Change the time. There we are. Look how beautiful it is. It looks just like a Germany. Now, we're going to cast out pretty much wherever. I'm going to choose over here. Yeah, that seems good. As far as we can. And we're going to put this in the rod holder. Then we're going to go ahead and get our secondary line and cast it out also wherever. We love how far those things go. And we can either hold on to this or we can put it in the rod holder and do some more small fishing if you so choose. Just so happens I've got my little feather light with me and I'm going to be casting out right around here-ish and I'm just going to be bringing it in. And of course there's going to be a narrow spoon, a narrow spoon, one fourth ounce, number one aunt. I don't know if this is best. It's just in this game, if you have any questions about a fish, use this first because yeah, it's amazing how many fish actually really like this lure. And we're just going to go ahead and, uh, retrieve a speed of three stop and go off the bottom just like we would for walleye and before you know it you'll be catching perch it's a good activity to do if you're a person that gets bored of just float fishing like myself to keep yourself entertained until the beeps start beeping and before you know it there will be some beeps coming in and you'll have some fish coming in on your line here now the thing is is with the silver carp and the big head carp is they are such infrequent catches that you have to keep yourself occupied to keep your oh of course anyway you have to keep busy in order to get a full keep net throughout the day come on just take it you know you want to putting up a good fight and lo and behold a common carp to help fill the keep net I'm out of my current bait hooray and just in time and and it goes good 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 now these guys put up a hell of a fight so be prepared to do a little bit of extra extra work in order to get uh to get them in now i think this was a 35 25 25 pound line and it's struggling so and i don't even think that this is a unique
right, come on, you. You're almost here. I'm going to help you out by walking towards you a little bit. Ah, sure enough, the exact fish that I wanted to catch, the unique silver carp. Let's go ahead and take a photo, shall we? Get a good look at this guy. Look at him. 53 pounds. My gosh. That's creepy. How do you do that? Oh my god. You see that? I'm just saying. Hang on. I, that's the picture that I want. Right. Oh, damn it. Boom. Got it. Creepy neck. Some exorcist stuff right there. Anyway, let's go ahead and take the thumbnail for this, uh, for this monstrosity that is a video. Boom. So if you follow these steps, you'll have a full keep net and a full wallet. The uh, unique silver carps, or the silver carps in general, are worth more than the trophy big head carps, so on and so forth. So you can make money out here, whether you're premium or not. I do suggest getting premium, though, because, you know, obviously, you can get your money back a whole lot easier. And before you know it, you'll have a full keep net, you'll have a full wallet, and you will have successfully survived Sander Bagersi. Now, there's other things to do here, such as bottom fishing for Wells Catfish, um, more carp to catch, you can find trophies and uniques of various other species. But how do you do that, Doom? I hear you ask. Well, I'm here to tell you that question, that question still remain. Those things I just said. You can find out the answers to those and more on the next episode of Von Doom Gaming.